With 10 minutes on the timer, is it even possible to take a Figma design and take it all the way into Framer, textiles, everything, and hit publish? Now, that's not a lot of time. I have my doubts, but I also have faith uh, in my secret tools that I am um, gonna use. I'm gonna use them well, and we're gonna find out. So let me just select these. It's not cheating, all I'm, gonna, I'm just selecting the layers, that's all I'm doing. And we're just gonna take a quick look. So this is what we're rebuilding. And we're gonna find out the answer since I've been challenged to do so. All right. So I'm gonna go over, you can see here is a totally fresh um, framer project and we're gonna be rebuilding. Now, I won't actually be staying in this project for very long and you'll see why, secret weapon. And I'm gonna start, pre-game jitters, get them out. Three, two, one, 10 minutes on the clock, let's go. Okay, gonna use a plugin, Figma to HTML, you guys have probably heard of it already and I'm also gonna use Compa. Now this one you've definitely heard me talk about. I'm gonna remix the starter, uh, starter kit. I'm just gonna close out of that one. And what you're gonna see here is it's gonna give us a really good starting point. I'm just gonna copy the layers to my clipboard. Um, sure, oop, get out. Just delete these. And you'll see it's given us a bunch of uh, great starting points where it's given us a great starting point, a bunch of layers that we can use or a bunch of sections, a bunch of text layers, a bunch of um, color styles, all of that. Now we won't be using a lot of those since we've got some here. And again, just like, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do the text styles and stuff, but we're gonna try. So you can see, okay, I'm just gonna take this, throw it up. We don't have, nope, we don't have anything similar to that. We're gonna keep that one and we're definitely gonna keep, I'm just gonna, you know what, I'm gonna start with this. So let me grab, okay, grab this, go into here, paste it. Okay, it's quite big. We're just gonna get it close. Um, I think that's pretty fair. Now, let me delete that. What I wanna do is grab this and Give it a bit of padding, just something like 10. Border, yep, that's fine. I don't mind if it's perfect or not. <laughs> so you use that. And then I'm gonna give it full radius. Now you can see that's pretty close. We are gonna grab, we're just gonna do all of this manually. So I'm just gonna get rid of all of them. Um, the border, we do want a border. Then we're gonna give the bottom one, two, three, four, something like that, or five, I guess. I think it's probably more like four. Now radius, I'm gonna give it like 24. I don't actually know the exact values of these things. I'm just trying to get close enough. Uh, and I'm not gonna do the number, sorry. Um, but I am gonna put, for this, I'm just gonna copy and paste it. Oh, no, I'm not, that's actually annoying. It's a graphic. Cool, I'm gonna use one, height. Oops, I did it the wrong way. I want it to be a height of one. Fill. I'm gonna move it up here. Okay, that's pretty close. Now I'm gonna grab that. Dude, that is, that's pretty good. Okay, oh, let me try it out. That's pretty good. Okay, <laughs> sweet. Okay, that's looking really, really good. I'm gonna leave that there. Um, okay, and then let's start with this. So I know that this imported this image um, as a graphic, and I actually want the image, I want it to be like a PNG. So let me paste that in. And the reason I want to paste it in as an image is so that I can make it really like resizable and just, it'll be much better. That's really good. I'm going to delete this button, go into this button here, make them all black instead. I'm going to get rid of that shadow. Uh, I'm just going to leave that there because we won't see it for now. That's good. That's pretty close. I'm going to delete that. Okay, now we're getting a little bit too specific here, except what I will also do is go and do this and get even more specific like an idiot. Um, I want a border, that's perfect. Okay, not quite the right color, but that's, um, that's fine. That's pretty good. I mean, that's, let me grab this, go in here, replace the logo. 
Cool. And hey, that's, we're off to a pretty good start. I'm gonna open up Compa again. Open the blocks, logos. I'm gonna drag that in there. I'm gonna delete this, looking pretty good. I can delete these too, actually. Um, and then, okay, we need, how much time do we have? Five minutes, all right, we're pretty good. We're pretty good on time. I don't know if we'll get all the sections in, I'm gonna really try to, okay. Uh, I'm gonna use like a content layer. I feel like we have something similar. Okay, where I, I'm just gonna use this. Honestly, that's pretty close. I think it's there, right? I'm actually gonna delete that since I know I'm not gonna use the exact colors and stuff. Um, I just wanna get it in. And if it works, it works, that's great. I'm gonna copy that one. And I'm gonna delete the others. Now I'm going to set it to fill. Also, gonna make that visible. This visible too. There, we can see that now. Okay, now I'm gonna change this into a grid. Looks like there's two columns and three rows. So I'm gonna go dun, 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 dun. Now we're gonna change up all the colors. This, and then these two are green. And then we're gonna change this and this, as well as this and this, and even this and this. Hope we're good for time. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh, that's perfect. All right, cool. Now, uh, I could do this button here. I'm gonna do it. Button, link. It's not gonna be perfect, but what we're gonna do is we just want, actually no, we want it before. The icon, and then it's gonna be an arrow right. And then it's gonna be bold. And you're just gonna have to forgive me that it's not perfect, but it's pretty darn close. Ah! I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna make it black. Per okay, so not quite perfect. Ah, shit. We'll leave it, we'll leave it blue. <laughs> Too much to have to compromise. Where are we at? Oh my goodness. Delete this one. Delete this one. Now, if we had an extra like five minutes, we probably could have done this and we could have done it really well, but we don't have the luxury of time and I'd rather get something in functional because I know that these buttons actually work. So I can add a link to it and it'll all be fine and dandy. Now I can add things. I won't, I won't bother. Okay, it looks like this is above that. Um, okay, I'm not gonna get it perfect. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add in some sections that I know will at least pass, will at least pass, okay, two minutes. Um, what was I saying? They will at least pass for like close enough. Okay, looks like that one's pretty close. And you can see they're fully responsive. That's pretty good. I'm actually just gonna make this, like I'm gonna get the fill out of it. Um, that's pretty good. It's not quite, but it's pretty good. And then that footer. Yeah, I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna see if, I, okay, I'm just gonna change the color. I'm just gonna change it to like one, then change everything in here to like white. Anything in here to white. And what are these buttons? Footer links, I'm gonna make these white. Okay, how are we going for time? Whoo, pretty close. Okay, so it's not quite there, but as I keep saying, we're so close. Now you can see here, like, like with a little bit more time, let me grab that green color. Uh, with a little bit more time, we could do this 
And we could even do it maybe within 20 minutes. Maybe I should have done that, give myself 20 minutes instead. But no, that was not the challenge. Um, okay. I'm going to go in here. Oh, okay. So I can't do that. That's all right. I'll just leave them blue <laughs> for now. Really, if I had more time, I wish I did. 40 seconds. What else can we do? We're just going to put this. Um, I'm going to put that. Give that some padding, like 24, maybe even like 48. Give this, oops, this color here. And we're gonna change these to be white. Color, no, what is it, the fill. Those will be white. And then that'll be black, so let's go in, unlink. And we're gonna change that. What was it? What was the, oh, I could have, I didn't have to do that, did I? I can just change it here. Fill, ah, okay. There we go. Time is up. And honestly, look, I'm just gonna quickly do this. Don't tell anyone, 24, because I think that would be close. Okay, let me get rid of that. Cancel it, okay, it's already stopped. Okay, here's where we're at. This is what we were meant to have. This is what we do have. I'm gonna be sneaky and just get rid of this because I was so close, come on. <laughs> and I'm also gonna do, oh my goodness, stop him. Someone stop him. Okay. Now, it's not perfect, but it's so close. So yeah, I guess I lost the challenge, right? I didn't get it done in 10 minutes, but now my camera's blocking it, but hit publish. And uh, let's view what we have and see, answer these questions. Is it responsive? Is it functional? And does it look good and how close it is? Those are the four questions, five, I don't know, four questions that we're gonna answer. Now, right off the bat, 100% it's functional. So we've got buttons here, not perfect, right? But it's functional. This opens, closes, so that's a tick for me. Uh, it's functional. Okay, now, because I can't even remember the questions that I asked, I'm just gonna make them, up, make them up as I go along. Now, is it responsive? I think that actually was the second question. Is it responsive? 100% it's responsive. Let's try and really dig deep and find something that's not responsive. These cards maybe. Okay, so maybe we've got some like issues here with the responsiveness, it does sort of peek into the card a little bit. I think that's fine though, right? That's not the worst thing in the world that could happen. Um, and now let's go and see if this is responsive. 100% these FAQs are. This could be a little bit more responsive, this here. I could change the padding if I had a little bit more time, I would have. Um, and then responsive is the footer responsive, how about, yeah, okay, we've got, even got a responsive nav bar. Okay, so does it look good? I would say it looks pretty darn good. Me personally, I would say it looks pretty good. Does it look great? No, uh, it was done within 10 minutes, so no, it doesn't look great. Sue me, um, this is the best I could do in 10 minutes. It was difficult and the pressure was on. Did I get all the sections in? No. But look what you can do using Framer and by extension the Compa plugin and you can even have a fully published website. Well, let me open this up. Give me a sec. There we go. And it's even fully live and I can show all my friends and I can send it to them and go, look what I made in 10 minutes. Okay. So that was it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching me suffer and I hope you'll come back and watch me suffer for the next video. Thanks guys.